Thank you, Casper. That's all that I need to say in this video. I didn't want to make this, but the time has come. Casper Schmeichel is leaving Leicester. And it still feels crazy that that sentence is actually true. 11 years he's been here. Now, I know that goalkeepers last at clubs longer than most outfield players, but 11 years is crazy. Club, icon, legend, hero, any of those words fit Casper to a T. The club have tweeted out all of the things that he's achieved in a tribute video. I'll put basically everything that they've tweeted so far in the background. But I just wanted to talk a couple of minutes basically about my thoughts on the situation, my thoughts on him, and just a personal recollection of everything that he has brought to the club and done over the years. So he's talked about it a few times, most notably on Ben Foster's podcast. And they talked about his move to Leicester. He didn't even know that he was coming here from Leeds. And he was basically told that, yeah, you're off to Leicester. Otherwise, you, you're basically, you're going to be stuck doing nothing. And so <laughs> it wasn't as if it was like his choice that he really wanted to join us at the time or anything. So to go from that to the man and player that he is now, it's crazy absolutely crazy so over the years obviously he's joined us we've he's won the championship with us and uh proved in the championship what kind of a goalkeeper can be some of the passes that i saw him make in the championship are some of the best i've ever seen a keeper make these weird like side volleys that were just pinged so accurately it was crazy and some of the saves that he's made over the years, the shot stopping of Casper is up there with some of the best that there's ever been, at least in the Prem. Some of the other parts of his game, maybe not as good, but we're not focusing on any negatives today. It's all positive memories and thoughts. Obviously, he was a part of everything. From that championship win, to us nearly getting relegated under Pearson, and then the madness that was the Premier League win. No one will ever forget it. And no one for will forget his part in that. Coming up with some vital saves in big games. <laughs> on course to lift in the Premier League. I mean... I remember after we won the championship... You could buy a ticket and they were limited to like a little meet and greet mini party thing towards the back of the ground. And I tried to get a picture with him, but I couldn't. Not that it would really hold up today on my really old phone or whatever. But I did manage to say hi to him. I got pictures with a couple of the guys, uh, Nugent, King and some others. But he was a really nice guy. My mum has met him. Uh, out and about, and oh, just an absolute gentleman in, in every way. After we won the championship as well, lifting the trophy at Town Hall and getting the players to come out and celebrate, and he was singing, we are the champions. What a day that was. I will never forget that one. And then, yeah, the Premier League trophy. Madness that... <laughs> We managed to do it. The bus tour. I was actually on the front row of... Uh, I'll put up the picture of the madness that was Victoria Park on the trophy parade day. I managed to get there early enough to be on the front row. And to see the happiness in all the players' faces, especially his, with Vichai and Top and everyone. Incredible. Since then... Some of the stuff that he's done for us, the Champions League, the penalty saves against Sevilla. Unforgettable. How do you even manage that in both games? Crazy. That penalty save at home against Sevilla 
is one of the loudest moments that I think I've heard the KP ever. Incredible. Taking us to the quarter final. <laughs> Crazy, really. And then since then, he's just been an absolute stalwart. 149 consecutive Prem appearances. <laughs> Insane. An FA Cup win where he was just phenomenal in the final. The save against Mason Mount. Incredible. And then a Community Shield win to top it all off. So it's not as if he's leaving without a legacy of silverware and stuff like that. He's been a part of everything. Absolutely everything. He even scored a goal once at home. It wasn't, it wasn't given, but he scored. Everyone that was there or who has seen it knows it was over the line. I've seen Kasper score a goal. What a header it was as well. But then, as I said previously, what a man as well. What a man. From being a gentleman at meet and greets and stuff like that, to just how kind he has been throughout the years. It's crazy. He always comes across as a, like, just the best kind of professional that you can want, really. And we then obviously have the super personal stuff of him being one of the first people to try and respond and help with the helicopter crash and basically wanting to run into the flames to try and help. And I think it's just a summary of how good of a person he is. You then also had the Ericsson moment where he was a big part of that, consoling his wife and everyone on the pitch. Uh, it's it's crazy. Some of the interviews that he's done over the years with just the emotions that he gives out to do with Leicester and Vichai and everyone like that. It's a tough day today. It's a, It's a really tough day. Whatever you thought about his ability as a goalkeeper or anything like that, you cannot take away his legacy at the club, his legacy at international level where he will continue to keep going, and his legacy as a man, which is just to be respected. And I think that is the best way for him to leave the club after all this time. No negativity. Just thanking him for the amazing service and everything that he's done. There, there are many moments that this man has done that I will or had that I will never forget. Ever. Who cares if last week he chipped a ball off for a throw-in? It may have been annoying in the split second, but I won't remember that. I'll remember the memories that he's given me, and all as Leicester fans. So, I'll end this video in the way that I started it, and that is by simply saying, Thank you, Casper.